Welcome to the eighth edition of KI Hall. This is actually the first video I'm filming on my new dash. In case you missed my last video, go watch it. But I did get a major upgrade on this desk. I won't shut up about it because I actually love it so much. It literally changed my life. And I'm not just saying that because it was gifted to me. Like genuinely, I am able to fit all of these items on my desk. Like this isn't even everything, y'all. Like look at this. I was taking the thumbnail. Look at how much stuff fits on this thing. I have so much space now. It's insane. So yes, of course we have another wide range of miscellaneous K-pop related items that I just buy over the course of a couple months. It piles up in my K-Addy or Korean address and I ship it all out to me and I unbox it for all of y'all. We have the usual things, you know, of course we have albums, we have merchandise, we have NCT merchandise, which is like a highlight <laughs> around here. This time we have some magazines as well as some photo books, some clothing items, just a lot of different things. And we're gonna have an amazing time opening it all together. These things have been sitting in my room for a month and a half. So if you see any dust particles on them, that explains why. But anyways, no more delays. Let's just get into this. Although I don't even know where to start. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna attack is actually the albums that we have to open. A lot of these are obviously like dupe albums because I buy extra copies like a maniac. But also we have some albums that I've never opened before because I bought it, shipped to the K-Addy, and it's been rotting there for like five months. So we finally get to open these. So yes, a lot of these things are quite old, but I'm still going to open them for you guys. And along with these albums, and the main reason why I buy these albums in the first place, I introduce to you guys the Sack of Mystery, aka all of the POBs. I'm going to start with this stack right here. This is the stack of albums I technically already have opened before. So I'm mainly just opening these for the pulls, so it's not going to take that long. Might as well just get it out of the way. We have Jack in the Box, the Hope Edition. Originally, I did want it to get only get one copy from Weavers for like the... I, was there an early bird with this? I'm pretty sure there was, but I saw it at Target and there was a Target exclusive card. So I was like, uh, I guess I'll cop that too. And also, I think you need two copies in order to, you know, complete the full set. So... I'm hoping I don't get any dupes. Oh, also we need to reach into our sack of surprises and fish for the, <laughs> where's the J-Ho POV? Okay, so this is from Weavers, clearly. I don't even remember like what a lot of these things are. <laughs> so we'll find out together. It's like early Christmas. Okay, so it includes this really cool magnet. Ooh, I get to include this on my table leg since it's man magnetic. I can start an official magnet collection. And then it includes this concept card. Oh, look at that back. Wow. And then this, <laughs> this is crazy. It's like literally as thick as a credit card and it's a transparent selfie. They're like combining all the different types of photo cards. And then, oh, I guess, wait, maybe it's supposed to be with the magnet, like packaging. But it's like a little filler too, I guess. I don't really remember our pulls, but I think once I see it, I'll remember. So again, okay, I think I already pulled the mince version actually in my original copy. So I was hoping for the pink one, but it's okay. That doesn't really matter. Let's see this photo card. <gasps> Wait, oh no, I think these two are the ones I pulled. <laughs> What the hell? Okay, so that's kind of unfortunate, but actually I remember, I think it was this one that like the printing was a little weird, so I guess that'll be the replacement. <laughs> but damn, okay, so I guess if anyone out there has the third or fourth, I forgot how many there are, and they want to trade, let me know. But anyways, here's the rest of the inclusions. I think they're like all the same, so. And then let's revisit this one last time. Iconic. Okay, I am so over this album <laughs> being completely transparent. How many copies of this damn album have I opened? I don't even know. I feel like this is like my 15th copy that I've opened, but I bought these two from two different stores. I think that's from K Town and Make Star. This is our first pull. This is Taeyong. 
And then I guess we have another hollow card, but I don't think it's from Maystar though. Oh wait, hold on, I'm so confused. I remember there was another golden, this one, of Runjin. Well, why are there only two copies? <laughs> Where's the third one? Uh, okay. Wait, now I'm like actually genuinely confused because I literally only have two copies of Golden Age with me right now from this haul. And these have different backs. So I, don't, I think they're from different stores. Okay, so I'm actually having a brain fart. I can't really remember what's happening right now, but I guess I have these three POBs to show. <laughs> so here is Yang Yang's. Here's Taeyong. And then this is Renjin's. All beautiful. But again, I'm open to trading for Mark because obviously I'm trying to collect his stuff. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I'm actually the dumbest person on planet Earth. I really... Did I actually look at this and say Golden Age? Y'all. Clear as day. This is for fact check. Oh my god. <laughs> it's midnight once again, so forgive me wow i literally genuine that was not even acting you guys like if it was give me my oscar right now because i dead ass showed the back and it said fact check in big letters and i said that that was golden age like re literally rewind to that moment of me being like an actual idiot and like illiterate <laughs> okay anyways let's open these oh my god yes we actually finally got a dream member. Holy, because I am collecting, you know, OT7 dream for these and I've opened so many copies, but I barely pull like the cards that I need to collect. But we actually have cheese dogs and he's with a little teddy bear. Oh my God. And then, ooh, we got Kuhn's um, yearbook card. I don't think I pulled this one yet either. Okay, oh. <gasps> No way! Oh my god, we actually got Chunlas as well! Dang, two dream members. I don't even know my progress for Golden Age, but yay! And then we also got Taeyong's um, yearbook card. Yas. Okay, now we're gonna open our fact check album <laughs> with the Taeyong <laughs> fact check makes our POV. Okay, I don't even want- let's just pretend that didn't happen, even though it's gonna be on the internet forever. <laughs> Please don't cut that clip and take it out of context people are gonna think i'm actually stupid even though i actually am okay so i just bought an extra chandelier version who did i pull last time i forgot but oh we got another taeyong thing we got his postcard oh, is this hechan oh, yay we got hechan's um photo card he's doing a little heart hand cheek Okay, this is probably the last of our extra copies, but I did get another set of these Freefall albums because I did mention it before. I got these from MTU. I think it was MTU. Because <clears throat> they were having a Lucky Draw event and I wanted to get another set of albums. Oh yeah, because I wanted to keep these on my shelves since, you know, you have to rip the packaging. These are not going to be ripped. These are my pristine copies. And you literally... Okay, you get one per album, right? And then if you get a full set of albums, you get an extra lucky draw. So obviously you get four, but there's five members. So I'm not going to pull one member. But I am just hoping to get Subin because I actually collect his, like, photo cards. He's my bias, so we'll see. We already saw the first one, so that was Yeonjun's. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my god. Also, again, love the little, like, hive sticker that they include. And then... We have Taehyun's. Okay. These cards are so... I think... Yeah, I purposely bought the MTU ones because these were my favorites. <gasps> Hyunin Kai. So pretty. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even help but laugh. Like, how comedic is that? Wow, the universe is just so funny. Like, they should be a comedian for real. Like, I really hope I pull at least Subin. Nope. But it's okay. Look at how pretty this is. Maybe... I'll try and buy his so I can at least complete an OT5 set. <laughs> but damn, that hurts a little. Not even gonna lie. Maybe Subin will be in here. Maybe the universe will give us, you know, the OT5 energy. Okay, what I mean by like, this is gonna be the pristine is that I'm literally gonna open it from the flaps like this because I'm obviously just gonna take out the inclusions and hope I pull everything out. Oh, yeah, see? Look at how easy that is. Boom. 
Now I don't have to actually open this up. <laughs> okay, whoa, I do not remember all this being in here. Oh, wait, okay, here we go. We got Subin's random member poster. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, oh, wow, wait, I don't remember this coming with two photo cards. <laughs> okay, first card. Oh, <gasps> wait, I don't think I have this card. Yunjun's, yes. And then, oh, whoa. Oh my god, we just got Yunjun sets. That is wild. And I do keep my Yunjun pool, so... Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Melancholy version. I'm gonna not... I'm gonna try and not take out all the big posters and stuff because that was a pain in the ass to put back in the album. So let me just try and take out the small things. And then... Oh my god, another Yunjun? That's insane. And then... Oh wait, I think I pulled this one actually. Okay, that's why I like I was like, wait, I think this is a dupe, but still really cute. Again, obsessed with this long hair. Okay, last copy. Okay. Oh my god! <gasps> Yo, we spoke it into existence. I don't have this one. Oh my god, his dimple is like so prominent. It's so cute. <gasps> and then another bum you. Cute. Okay, major slays around. Okay, this is sort of a transition from albums I've already opened to albums I haven't opened yet because I've opened a copy of these Poka versions before, but I finally got my M-Wave signed regular photo book albums, which I've never opened before, so yeah. I guess we can finish off the series by opening these albums. I already have a copy of these, so... Oh! Oh wait, I need to show the cards that came with it. So, no, there was more than this. Okay, here we go. So I obviously have the M-Wave cards from M-Wave and then these are from Make Star, right? I'm pretty sure. Ooh, oh, it's like one from each concept almost. That's nice. So here is the first M-Wave card and the second one. I have so many like Yenna cards now, it's crazy. Which is a good thing because I did want to collect more Yenna cards, but I don't, I've decided, like, I'm not really gonna, like, buy more of her photo cards. I think I'm just gonna, like, mainly collect her through pulls. So, I don't know why I need to explain that. But here is the Make Star cards. It's, like, her in this bunny beanie. All right, and then our actual Polka album. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> this is the third time I pulled this cowboy card. But I don't think I have this one, so. So at least we got a different concept card. I already have this one. <gasps> I don't have this one. Ooh, look at her, she's glowing. All right. <gasps> Ooh, are you serious? <laughs> There's no way this is real life. Oh my God, okay, so we did get another concept card, thankfully. <laughs> oh my God, or a QR card, I guess. The fourth Cowboy Yenna card. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I guess if anyone's up to trade, I have three cowboy cards if you want to trade for any other yenna hate xx card i don't have i'm down to trade it oh okay dude i got scared for it i thought this was gonna be the same card but it's just the same outfit <laughs> yes okay the emily signed albums i'm actually kind of sad she changed her signature i did like the little like face one but we have this signed album now okay i'm gonna do a quick flip through because again i've actually never like opened this album Oh, all the inclusions are in there. What the? Oh, that's so cool. I guess this sticks out if you wanted to. I guess, like a little bookmark. But it's like stuck to this. But yeah, honestly, Wicked Love is like literally one of my favorite songs of this year. Again, I did like Hate Rodrigo, but I don't know. There's something about Wicked Love that was like, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, this concept photo- I've never seen these pictures before, or that outfit. What the heck? Why is no one posted about this? It's so pretty. Ooh, this photo shoot. The guitar. And then I've seen these pictures, obviously, because it's the cover. She's rocking that pink wig. Okay, and then let's see our- Oh wait, there's other things first, hold on. Yay, the sticker sheet, and then for our photo cards. Oh, oh, and also an, a guitar pick. Is this, can you like actually play the guitar with this? It's, seems plastic-y. Okay, and then 
let's see our photo cards oh yeah i really want to get that like olivia rodrigo photo card oh my god okay but anyways oh we got three cards so this is the first one and then this one and then we get this hollow card her pink hair is so pretty now for this version i like how they added like little hollow highlights on the cover oh they didn't include the little thingy in this version oh wait never mind it's right here Ooh, it says yenna so i'm guessing this one's like a darker concept oh yeah this one has the the yeehaw pictures i really liked the music video for wicked love too i wish they included like pictures from the set because she was like levitating right like with the strings attached to her that was pretty cool Ooh. all right and then for our photo cards oh my god all her photo cards are so cute but anyways look at these cards they're so cute we have this one and then another sunglasses one and then our hollow card okay so funny i'm opening these right now even though the boys literally just had their comeback kind of insane this fantasy series like they're gonna release another one in december supposedly i'm praying for them but anyways here is christmas in august and oh duh i bought these because there was an event i was kind of sad though because they did an event where they were holding like water guns and those were so cute but i missed out on them so i just got these sailor ones instead so here we have sanyans oh my god we actually pulled sanus whoa wow we actually pulled one of my bias cards yay so we have sanus oh my god and we have jacobs as well these are actually really cute look at that yes in the first version interesting how they do this like dvd packaging Ooh, get this like group card and there's some stuff in here too whoa wait this is so pretty i'm assuming all the inclusions are in here oh my god is this a surfboard paper clip that's cute oh my god and then, let's just take everything out right now. oh wait not the photo cards i guess but we have changmin and eric's and then ooh, another sanu and you and then this clear bookmark wow there's actually a lot of things in here sorry y'all i have to be quick with it because <laughs> this is only the album opening part and this video is gonna be way too long so oh wait the photo cards in here should we just see them why not oh my god another sangyeon look at that the back is also so cute oh my god christmas in august and i'm literally opening this in december the month of christmas <gasps> oh my god look at this hackneyon card uh, he is so pretty oh wow this is actually a pretty thin photo book but ooh, looks like a hollister ad campaign campaign they're just against like a white background though interesting oh there's some blue in there okay a little color all right next one. Oh, this this concept should be interesting <laughs> oh all right just bam there oh my god this one's a palm tree these paper clips are so cute let's see what's in oh my here is eric looking absolutely stunning as well as another hakmyeon even more don't we have Yangun and Sangyeon once again? We are very Sangyeon blessed today. And then, <gasps> ooh, all right. Okay, so we have Chuyun's photo card as well as Yangun's. These are so nice. Okay, and then uh, let's look through this once again. Very interesting photo book. I'm assuming. Ooh. This whole entire, like, set and, like, music video set and, like, photo shoots and all that. So pretty. It looks like they, like, traveled. It looks like they went on an island. It's, the background looks so pretty. Yep, the background. <laughs> Not trying to focus on anything else or anything, right? <laughs> all right, last version oh yeah look at them getting down this is so cute so festive i love all like the 
red and green. Oh my god! A Christmas tray! Okay, and then... Oh my god, another Hagnyeon postcard! Wow! And then, oh, interesting. We have Hyunjae for the postcard. And then, this... Is this... I know we pulled Youngun, but why does this picture... Oh my god, my memory. I can't. <laughs> Jacob's film strip. Now I'm actually kind of glad that I'm opening this right now because this is getting... It, it's December 1st, the time I'm filming this, so it's like really like setting me up for the holiday festivities mood because I'm just so overwhelmed and stressed right now. Like, it doesn't even feel like the holiday season, but it's my favorite time of the year. I want to get into it. Okay. Ooh, we have another Jacob. Here's his photo card. And then another Chuyan. Ooh, love how festive these are. Last photo book. I think for their newest comeback, since again, like it's like such such a spending time, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm gonna try and at least get like the member version CD things. So usually I would do that. Like if I don't want to buy like every single version or whatever, I try to buy like either the platform or the member version of like my biases. So I, I'll try to get like Sanus or something. Okay, we are opening something Blackpink related. Wow, I know. Like, when was the last time I did that? But here is the girls game OST. I, well, first of all, the events that came with these. Look at these cards. And the fact that there's four versions and four members, which means I get a full set. And this set is so freaking cute. Oh my god, like, do you see these? Like, of course I have to jump at the opportunity. Okay, but anyways, look. They're all wearing, like, cute little props, like, glasses or crowns, holding things. Well, actually, it's just Jenny holding a flower, but these are the cutest cards ever. Oh my goodness. And then we have our actual game things. I did actually, well, I filmed, like, an unboxing of this a really long time ago. Um, for like my work so I know like what's in here. I think there's like a selfie card in here That's exciting and the packaging is really cool. I like how this is like a tin container Dear blink full transparency. I did not play this game, but I don't really play phone games anymore So I don't really play games in general just overwatch <laughs> But anyways, um, look at all these things though. You get a fun little sandy I unfortunately have no more room in my room at all, if you know. <laughs> Once again, like, I love standees, but I have, like, no space for them anymore, sadly. We get these stickers. And then our photo cards. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, we have a rosé selfie. Oh, I mean, if anyone out there plays, you're welcome. <laughs> we have these concept cards. Rosé, Lisa, Jenny... Chisu. I think this is, what is it, like 8 out of 12 random cards, if I remember at the top of my head. But I'm glad we get like two full sets, though. Cool. There's like that whole situation, like whether or not they renewed and like blah 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 blah. I'm just trying to like be, what's the word? Not clueless, but oblivious. <laughs> I just want what's best for them. I just miss them a lot. I've been there since literally the beginning, so these girls have my heart. But anyways, that's one of the, the other Sandy sets. QR for the OST, even though, isn't it just as one song? <laughs> Stickers, and then photo cards. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, we got Lisa's for the selfie this time. And then, okay, this is the same. <gasps> Wait, okay, I think that means we got all 12, right? Since I'm pretty sure it's 8 out of 12. So here's the other set. Yay. All right. How fun. Okay, now we have the tiny version. This looks like a cassette tape, which is cute. The girls. Okay, let's see. Oh, whoa. All right, we got this little tag. Ooh. Okay, well, there's also the QR code. We got Jenny's selfie card. Why does she look like... What did they do to her? And then we got more stickers. Ooh. This literally looks like Sims. Oh my goodness. We have Chisu, Rosé, Lisa, Jenny, 
and then another. I think this might be eight out of 12 too. So hopefully we pull the other four. All right, and then the pink version. All right. Oh, we got Rose selfie. And then, okay, this is the same. Oh man, we got the same sets. <gasps> Dang it! Oh well. Alright, we're still opening tiny albums. We have the Nemo version of Somi's latest album, Game Plan. I did technically open a copy of the, the normal photo book version. It was the Barnes & Noble exclusive in my most recent collective haul, which I posted like this past week, so you can check it out there. But I also got the Nemo ones. I kind of want to get the black version of the photo book as well. I just don't know when I'm going to get it. It's not like a super high priority. But yeah, and I don't even think I'm going to get the jewel case version. Like, honestly, I, I'm i setting more boundaries and I just don't feel the need to, like, buy every single version, you know, sometimes. So, but I did get the Nemo ones at least because these ones obviously come with a lot of cards. And I think there are some cards and selfie cards in here that I wanted to try and pull. I do like Nemo versions because it comes in this, like, cute little clear case. And this is, like, perfect for the card concept, the poker concept. Let's see. Oh. I don't think that's supposed to come apart. Some, oh, here's the QR code. And then it looks like we get some concept cards. See, it's like a little photo card pack, which I really like about these Nemo albums. These are so gorgeous. And this is the selfie card we pulled, again, from the fast forward music video on the bike when she's getting bullied. And then we get this cute little ornament. All right, and then we have the black version. This way. All right. There, I didn't break it this time. <laughs> okay, and then we get more concept cards. Stunning. Oh my god, her mama performance killed it. As expected. Oh, are you serious? We had to pull the same. I thought they were going to be different across the versions. Okay, I guess not. So of course we pull the same exact card. So again, if anyone wants to trade for any other <laughs> game plan um, Nemo selfie cards, let me know. Oh my goodness. We are really whipping out the older albums here. So finally opening La Seraphim's Unforgiven Japan albums. At this point, I'm surprised they haven't even announced a new comeback or something, like, besides Perfect Night, you know? Anyways, I already opened this technically because I bought the Target exclusives, but did not open these limited versions yet. And I got these from Weaver, so I think... I'm guessing this is a set of photo cards, if I remember. Let's see. Ooh. Alright, so it looks like we get... Oh, they're concept cards, but... We also get this group card that's, like, hard. And then we get the concept cards it's like fancy ballerina tennis all right i'm just gonna open this one first just because i already opened it before let us see who we pulled for this oh yeah i, I opened was it on my second channel oh no it was a tiktok oh i opened two copies on my tiktok so i guess you can check out that too <gasps> wait i don't think i pulled unches actually wait did i i don't even remember I don't think I did, though. I think I pulled Yunjin and, like, Kazuha? Maybe? Alright, now we have limited A version. Box sleeve type of things. Ooh, we get a visual book. So basically, like a mini photo book. Ooh, wait, why is there a football? What? <laughs> They're mixing all the sports. A baseball bat? They just, they literally just, oh, now there's a tennis racket. <laughs> they just typed in sports and picked every single sport possible. Oh, she's also holding a tennis racket. All right, and then for the, this, this is probably just a lyric book then, right? Oh, oh, these are unit cards. Ooh, we got um, Yunjin and Che ones. Wait, these are... Okay, I thought there were two cards stuck to this at first, but do you guys see that? Like, that card's actually hella thick. Oh my god. Cute. Yes, I will try to collect OT5 for this because I do collect OT5. I mean, it wasn't that hard for... Oh wait, let me just put this back in here. What am I doing? It wasn't that hard for Fearless Japan 
So I'm hoping it's the same for Unforgiven, but oh my god, I'm like so behind on like all my collections and stuff. Okay, and then we have B. Oh, this one doesn't come with a visual book though, for some reason. Hmm. It's just this then, I guess. Oh, this one comes with a DVD though. <gasps> Ooh, we have Uncha and Sakuras. These unicorns are so cute. Love it. And then... Oh, it's this concept. Oh, that's it. All right, this is the last CD that we have. I know, a drama OST. I don't, I think the last drama OST I opened was, yeah, I think it was Crash Landing on You. That was like, when did that come out? Like three, four years ago? <laughs> is it because I don't really watch K-dramas, but this one kind of reeled me in. I don't know why, but it did. Like the storyline was interesting at first. Okay, let me just open this. Like I need to stop talking too much, but... This is King the Land OST with Yuna and Chuno. I know, drama power couple of 2023. But anyways, yeah, I, I guess I liked the drama enough to get the fucking soundtrack. But yeah, here it is. Oh my god, this drama was such a long time ago. It's insane that I'm opening this now. But there was a delay in production for these, so yeah, but ooh, I'm like, I get to relive the drama. But yes, um, my thoughts on it, I did like the beginning of it. The, obviously, I, like I said, the storyline was pretty interesting. And I liked, you know, the character, like, contrast, if you will. I know it's a little slightly cliche, but I was kind of intrigued, you know? This, like, stubborn conglomerate owner versus this hardworking... She's not even, like, middle class or anything. She, she, she like, works hard to get her money. But obviously they're like opposites attract type of thing. It did intrigue me. And then, to be honest, <laughs> as the drama went on, I was like, okay, like this is clearly like a fan service type of drama. Ooh, look at this pop-up card though. Wow. Like they literally even advertise this drama as like, wow, like we finally get to see Yuna and Juno in a drama together. So yeah, clearly they were doing it for the fans because apparently they were like a popular fanship or something. I have seen it before, so yeah, but also they're both gorgeous. Love them both. But yeah, it was still enjoyable. Like I didn't like hate it or like I didn't stop watching it, but I did like the first half more than the second, <laughs> like before they actually became a couple. <laughs> I know, but anyways, and then there was just all these like side plots that, I don't know, were a little like interesting, I guess. You know, there was the beef with the dad and her, oh wait, wait, his, his sister, the evil sister. Was this, no, stepsister, yeah. Oh my god, I'm like forgetting parts, oh, <laughs> I'm forgetting parts of the drama, but now I'm like remembering as I'm flipping through this photo book. But yeah, I guess if you want something to watch, I would recommend it, but it's not like a, oh my god, I love this, it's not like crash landing level of love, like, that drama... I've rewatched like five times because I love it so much, but I still enjoyed this one. So yeah, anyways, it includes, whoa, what the, oh my god, I, I didn't remember there being this many photo cards, but I'm so sad that like it's not like like selfie cards or like, you know, sometimes for OSCs they do like pol printed Polaroids and stuff. That would have been so cute, so it's like a little more personal behind the scenes or whatever. They just did like concept cards, these low- Oh, they made it like hotel key card theme though. That's cute, but it's literally just like the same stills from the drama. <laughs> like these literally look like Lamo cards. Like where are the selfies? I know they took them, but still cool to have drama photo cards, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I get to store these somewhere now. Yay! Alrighty, last album. Oh my god, wait, y'all, this is crazy. I It's already an hour into filming, and I've just only opened the albums. Like, this is supposed to be a portion of the video. Like, what is happening? <laughs> oh god, so this is the I've I've vinyl. It's finally here. I'm so excited. I literally pre-ordered this such a long time ago. It released on Halloween day, actually, so opening this quite late of course but here it is and i'm so excited to open it 
finally another k-pop vinyl i really wish like more groups would do do records but there it is whoa it's actually my first time seeing this vinyl so wow okay let's open this part is this oh it's not a two lp wait dang they fit an entire album into one lp i mean i guess that makes sense oh it's white Ooh, it's actually a colored pressing look at that everything is so black and white Yay! I can't wait to play this. And there is one random card. Like, why do they have to make the card random? Like, come on. <laughs> they couldn't give us, like, one set or something? Oh, it's not a photo book. It's, like, posters. So... Oh! Oh, I thought this was the photo. I was like, wait. We got this random sticker. We have Liz. Oh, wait, isn't there... I think it was yesterday, actually, right? Was it yesterday or today? Their second anniversary? So perfect timing for me to open this. We got this like lyric poster. And then, whoa, these are so HD. And so close up too. The outfits are gorgeous. I love these I Am outfits. All right. Wait, a uh, photo card? <laughs> uh, where are you? Has to be tucked in here somewhere, right? Wait. Oh, it's right here. Oh my god. I think it's cars. Oh my god, it's like stuck. Oh shoot. Oh. Are you kidding me? There's no way. It literally got crushed. Oh my god, this is so bad. Dude, it literally like was right here. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, it's like splitting apart too. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> we got Kai's photo card. Oh my god, are you serious? I waited so long for this vinyl and and it's like one card too. One random card. I don't even I, Definitely at this point, it's not replaceable because I, op I opened this so late. <sighs> okay, I guess I just have to suck it up, but I'll still keep it and like store it in my binder. Maybe you won't notice it with the sleeve, but this is like tragic. Like that is deep in there. I literally had to yank that shit out. Oh my god, at least the card is pretty though. <laughs> well, all right. Next, I'm going to open actually a package in a package, a package in a package. So this, I guess this looks somewhat familiar, is actually a Baiyi package, not Spawns by the way. Um, th these are just the remaining things from my, I think it was two hauls ago when I, the haul that was not sponsored that I bought a bunch of, of things myself. These were the items that shipped out like later and arrived later. So since it was so little, I just shipped it to my k -Addy. So we get to finally open it, yay. <laughs> It's basically just photo cards and I think like one or two albums. Green envelopes, green envelopes. I'm just gonna open these on camera right now. I This haul was such a long time ago. I don't even remember what's in here. Ooh. Oh, this might have Songchan things. Oh, it is Songchan. Oh, I guess I did buy Songchan things at this time. So anyways, oh, there's two of these cards. Uh, here is his commas photo card set. Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, it's finally here. Okay, so once again, if you guys remember, I bought this a really long time ago. When Sour came out, I bought the Japanese version of Olivia's album. And so I did the same thing for Guts because once again, love this album. And this actually has random photo cards. I think it's these. You get random two, one, yeah, two out of six photo cards. Like, how iconic is that? Anyways, looks like we get a POB of this L holder. They did give us one for Sour too, and then Japanese limited edition unboxing. Wow, we get the OB strip. It's like not like the size of a regular CD, by the way. It's like it's like a seven inch vinyl size almost. Ooh. All right, looks like this is a photo book. Oh, the photo cards. Wait, let's save that. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, let's see. Oh, they're lyric books. 
yeah love love this album this album is literally like what i needed in this moment just like a teenage angst i'm not a teenager anymore technically but like you know just needed to let it out and that's what she does and also it's like rock inspired which i really like Ooh, these are like some of these are like photos i've never seen like exclusives Ooh. and then oh wow there's three oh wait no this is a poster you get a folded poster this truly is like i'm doing a k-pop album unboxing <laughs> And then, oh, these are Japanese lyrics. That's so cute. And then, ooh, here's the CD. They put it on this, like, little thing. Are, uh, oh, these are, oh, man, they're not, they're, like, I guess they're Dragon Shield size. I thought they were going to be more, like, slim, but anyways. Oh, we also get a sticker. Our first pull. <gasps> we got the, is this a piano? Kind of looks like one. The piano card. And then... Uh, Ooh, the chair card. Yes. My favorite songs are definitely Ballad of a Homeschool Girl. I also love All American Bitch, Making the Bed, Get Him Back, The Grudge. Those are my top songs, but once again, this entire album, I don't know how she does it, but amazing. Love it. Ooh, the rest of my Vernon concert trading cards are finally here all right so this is from be the sun japan but yes we have once again a full set he looks so good in this suit <gasps> another vernon set <laughs> yeah a lot of these vernon sets kind of arrived late too i know in my initial haul i had already bought so many and it's like i have more all right this is from 17's home Let's, I think this card I already have because it came in like a set or something before, but it's okay. Let's just look. Oh my god, I love this fit. That shirt. This really does look like a home catalog, like Ikea, living spaces, anyone? Ooh. Let's see. Oh my god, enough. Oh, I guess I bought the uh, Be This in Japan set into two different listings i i think it's because i couldn't find one listing that had all the cards for some reason i know right but so i have to get two different sets but yeah i was wondering i was like wait this seems like less than this but some of these are dupes oh yeah oh what the wait <laughs> why did i buy these was it just this card or oh maybe it's because like i couldn't find a listing with all of the cards and then like obviously there were a lot of listings where like a set of cards is the same price as one card so i think i just bought another like full set because it's the same price because why not i guess <laughs> who knows what brad passed what past brad was thinking okay so this is hung chan so this is a song chan card oh they even wrote thank you in korean that's cute okay <gasps> Ooh, oh no there's tape why did I not tape this properly on the top? Or tape the sleeve closed? Oh no! I think it survived though. Okay, it's fine. But this is from... Oh, I thought I had all the SMCU cards. I guess not. But here, I guess this is the last one. Ooh, continuing the Tojejung. Oh wait, <gasps> I think this may have some Tojejung cards because I mentioned before that I'm wanted to collect ot3 like every single card for perfume because i loved it so much so i was on a quest for that i think i'm still missing just like two cards but again i haven't worked on like photo card shopping in a long time this one did come with the digit pack but i think i mainly bought it for these two cards so this probably is the digit pack card then for doyoung sorry i keep hitting my camera and then this came with a mumo card as well yay uh, what? <laughs> the card flew out! Oh my god, and it was bare! It wasn't even sleeve! What the heck? How did this card survive? Oh my goodness, but here is a Matthew card. This is his K-Town for you POV. Oh. Oh, it in fact did not really survive. There's some nasty damage. Oh, that giant's pierce dents. Yes! They could even, like, tape the top loader closed. 
Oh my god, even more Sunshine cards. Dang. Oh. Oh my god, why there's so many... What? <laughs> okay, so I think I needed this card mainly, although it does look pretty familiar. And then I think I have this card already, but I needed these, and it came with five of them, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this was also a card that was a bit of a straggler because I had opened... This is from ICJ Japan. I got the full set for this, and... I opened every mem member except for his because his arrived so late. <laughs> but here it is, finally. Chunless ICJ Japan card. Now I have the full set complete. All right, last buy the package. <gasps> and, oh my god, I had to get... This was such a cute card. I had to get it. This is Matthew's Jump Up POB, I believe. Look at how cute he looks. OMG. His smile and his hair. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with Matthew. Okay, while we're still on the topic of photo cards, let's just open this Poke Market package. I don't even remember what I shipped in here. Oh, there, there we go. So I saw Woods in here and then Tojajang as well. I'm not gonna unsleeve these, I'm too lazy, but let's see the cards that we got. So I got the I think I traded one unit and then this is the last unit I needed. So I got the last unit card and then I, oh yeah i also bought a lot of toyong uh, perfume non-album cards because they were actually quite inexpensive especially on poke market i was quite surprised so i went ham clearly <laughs> so yeah some of these are oh this is a solo perfume card i think i didn't buy it but i bought the photo card and then some of these are also like album cards because i wanted to collect ot3 so as you can see, there's a lot of Chaehyun cards as well. These should all be album cards. I don't think I bought any non-album cards for them. Oh wait, this looks like a non-album card actually. I'm assuming because there's no signature in the back. And then here's some Changu as well. I'm not going to show the back anymore. <laughs> I'm too lazy. But yeah, these are all so pretty. Oh, there's some Mark. Or just one mark from ICJ. More Doyoung. So, oh, wait, what? Did I buy two of these cards? Uh, okay, <laughs> maybe I did. Um, all right, and then oh, there's some woods as well. I did work on colorful trauma a lot. Oh my god. Speaking of Woods, I can't believe I saw him yesterday at the time I'm filming this. Oh my god, I'm still... It's the PCD is like slowly starting to set in now, and it's like, oh my god. I saw this man live right in front of my freaking face. Like, it's insane. Seeing his photo cards a lot, and then like seeing him on Twitter, and then now in person. It's crazy! And I sort of met him too, because I did the high wave and group photo. Oh my god, that was insane. But yeah, I did a lot of colorful trauma progress. I'm just missing one card. Let's open something else besides photo cards. How about we go through some magazines? All right, so I have two magazines here. I have a Rise magazine and Mark, of course. So we'll just go through the Rise one super quick. This is, I believe, their first magazine cover for W Korea. If you're wondering why there's only two members here, it's because this is actually a fold-out. Which honestly, I mean, this is cool in theory, but like how often are you gonna like fold this out, you know? So I wish it was like one group picture of them, but this was a gorgeous photo shoot. And this was their first magazine, so I was like, I kind of want to get it. So, oh, there's Rosé, hello. Where are you, Ro oh, there it is. Let's see, okay, we'll flip through it backwards actually. Ooh, <gasps> Sungan, oh my goodness. Yes, I'm aware of his situation. <laughs> I feel like every time, oh my god, I feel like every time there's some sort of like news that breaks out, like especially if it's like huge news, like people are like flooding me in the comments or like in the DMs, like, did you hear about this? Like, yes, y'all, <laughs> I am on social media. <laughs> like, don't worry, I have heard the news. I pretty much hear it almost right away because I'm on Twitter a lot, so. I appreciate your concern though, but yes. It's just like, 
what do I have to add to the conversation, you know? Anyways, I feel like people treat me like I'm the the mayor of K-pop. I need to speak, like, have a statement for every fucking piece of news that happens. Like, y'all, I am just a fan like you. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <gasps> Key. Okay, yeah, that's just, that was the magazine. <laughs> okay, and then we have another Mark magazine cover. He covers Esquire, Esquire, Esquire. Here it is, all three covers. I kind of wish these two picks were different because these obviously like are the same color background. So it feels pretty similar, but he, he obviously looks still really good. Oh my, can I talk? He obviously still looks really good in them. This kind of cracks me up though. This like yeehaw farm vibe. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, obviously I'm just gonna flip through one of it because they're all the same. It's just different covers. So let's see this magazine now. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, wait. I haven't seen all these pictures yet. I'm actually surprised because I obviously follow, like, Mark accounts on Twitter. Who was gatekeeping these? <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, these film strip pics. <gasps> His hair looks so good. Uh, model. Okay. <gasps> College vibes. Yay ha indeed. Oh, that's it. Oh, did not know this folded out. Okay, more merch time. We're going back to the photo cards, I guess. So this is the only Espa merch I have in this package. I think I opened some My World merch before, right? Maybe in my previous caddy haul. But these are just the, whatchamacallit, the trading cards D and C version. I wanted to get B and A, but they sold out. And then they restocked them, but I didn't want to buy it at that point. So I was like, whatever. I just bought two of these because... I think I really liked the selfie cards, so let's see who we pull. Will our Karina, or our, our non-Karina curse continue because I never pull her. Okay. Oh, we have Winter. And Ning Ning. Wait, look at how pretty these are. The Hollow. My World, such an iconic album. We love you. We have Giselle. And another Ning Ning. Oh, this card is gorgeous. Oh my God, the rose that she's holding. So pretty. So yeah, once again, pulled every member except Karina. That's how it usually goes though. Okay, Ning Ning. Oh, finally. The day has come. We pulled Karina in a random card pack. There's this and then oh, the blonde hair is still stunning. Winter. Ooh, and an, oh, we got a full winter set. Oh, so pretty. Okay, no dupes at all. I'm actually really happy about that. And we pulled one of each member this time, so yes. Okay, and then this is a singular piece of New Jeans merch, but this is the Bunny's Camp photo card set. Again, they're just so generous with like their photo cards and stuff. Nothing is random with them, so I appreciate that. But this is from their Bunny's Camp merch. This is the only merch I got because it's just photo cards, so yeah. Oh, there's like stuff on the back. This guitar photo card. And then we have Honey's. And then Danielle. Heading. And Hang. But yes, another set. Oh, there, and there's two per member, so it fills up a 10 pocket page nicely slay okay and then this should be the wait no there's one more but even more girl group merch we have la seraphim's flame rises set finally so this is the mini photo card set oh shit <laughs> so now we have to open all these sets and see if we get lucky oh i think this might be a special set though that comes in that box set because this is this is the only one that has a sticker so Let's see. So yeah, here it is. Ooh, they look so elegant. Whoa. Oh, and there's like their signature on the back. So pretty. <sighs> Let's do this, shall we? Ooh. Oh, wow, there's a lot of cards in here. Dang. Okay, so it looks like we got a Chewon selfie. And then the rest of the members are concepts. Kind of gives me like Hunger Games vibes for some reason. The fire. <laughs> then we got a 
Chaewon Yunjin Kazuha units. Okay, I guess I should like lay out the cards because we need to see if we get any dupes. All right. Oh, okay, so we didn't get a Chaewon selfie this time. Here's your concept. And then we got a Sakura. Oh, wait, let me lay it out for like each member actually. Hopefully that'll fit, but we have Sakura selfie this time. Yunjin. Kazuha. Oh, this is a different concept. It's the white background. Ooh, and the same unit lineup, but a different picture. <gasps> okay. A different Chewan. Sakura. <gasps> and then we got Yunjin selfie this time. Ooh, and then two more of the white concepts. Oh, and the same unit again. <laughs> Wait, this kind of seems a little too coincidental wait oh <gasps> maybe they do give us the full set <gasps> oh my god they're actually being generous this time oh my god because sometimes they do like i remember for black eye for vernon they gave us his entire like set when i bought like the set listing but like when i bought the set listing for the um fearless japan cards they didn't give me a set it was completely random so that's why i'm like which one is it but this kind of looks like it's going to be a set then, right? Hopefully I don't speak too soon. But yeah, look at that. We're getting all different cards. And then now we have Unchess Selfie. But we're getting like the same unit though. <laughs> oh wait, there's five. Okay, then there's five left. Okay, we're probably going to get the other five. Right. Oh, yeah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh wait. So same selfie, but I didn't get these concepts yet. And I'm running out of space, so let me just put these up here. Oh, maybe there's only five selfie cards. Like one of each member. So we'll probably get a dupe, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, I'm not getting any, like, dupe concept cards. But I am getting the same selfie. So it looks like we're going to get an extra set of selfies, it appears. That's fun, I guess. So yeah, it looks like I will be showing you guys this entire set. Oh, thank God, though. Like, I don't have to do, like, trading or, like, buy the cards for this. Oh, my God. Wow, there's actually a lot of cards here. It's actually a relief that they give the set them. Like, imagine having to collect all of these individually like trading and buying oh my god like i would literally die <laughs> and it just keeps going there's more damn the amount of pictures they must have taken for this yeah none of these are dupes yeah just same vibes oh Senkajuha. all right last one let's see Tada! oh my god i've officially run out of vertical space Okay, so that, okay, it's so messy, but that is the entire set. Oh my god, I have to store all these cards away. Holy, but dang, we actually got every single card and an extra set of selfies. How freaking exciting is that? Speaking of merch, this is our last lineup of merch we have, and of course, it's the obligatory NCT merch. <laughs> because they never stop. Okay, so this was just a random purchase. <laughs> I saw it because I kind of wanted to collect like more Mark dolls. So this is an official doll though from SM. They did release a Kick It one, I think. I didn't buy it though. I don't know if I want to anymore, but yeah, at the time I wanted to get this. So here we have it from Hello Future. Such an iconic era, of course. It's actually not that bad either, the doll. The hair is a little funky though, but here it is, how cute. We will open the seventh anniversary merch. Oh, wait, technically I didn't get this from Korea. <laughs> I did technically buy this from SM Global Shop because I think by the time I placed a request or something, they, they sold out. So I had to buy it from SM Global Shop and then it arrived and I decided to just include it in this video because like I would have bought it from Korea anyways. First, we have this cup. They decided to do 
DIY wine cups, I guess. I do like wine, so let's see. Ta-da! I'm guessing glass is too dangerous, so they made it a plastic cup. <laughs> this is really cute, though. Like, this could be a cute little, like, pen cup, too. But, like, ta-da! Cheers! This looks like a kid's wine glass. But it comes with a photo card, of course. Ta-da! Cute. Okay, and then we have this glow-in-the-dark sticker set. So it looks like each member drew their representative animal. And it's glow-in-the-dark. Wow, can't you tell? No? Okay. And then, of course, the photo card, which looks pretty identical to the other one. This time I did get the lucky card set. I did not forget, like last time. So here it is, seventh anniversary. That is crazy. Seven years, going on to their eighth. So here's the two lucky cards for manifestation purposes. And then he's doing a little like face in this one. It's so cute. It's like a little like cheetah snarl, growl. I don't know. Okay, and then this is a party package. I think this has like a projector or something, right? But anyways, it comes with this little, like, cake topper, I think. And then, let's see. Oh, is this a projector? Okay, anyways, last photo card. Cute. And then, oh, it's it kind of, oh. Oh, wait, there's already a topper in here. Why'd they include another one? <laughs> okay, um, are you supposed to put a battery in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, I do not have batteries with me, so not gonna demo it, but oh, wait, that's cool. It like lights up and you could put little slides. Oh, that's actually so cute. And then I guess, I don't know if you can really see it. Can you? Like, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little border in there. I'm assuming you can like take pictures, like project it against the wall and like take pictures with it, with the member decorated slots and then there's also this cute little oh it's a little party hat too oh that's cute Ta -da. now whenever i want to throw a nct party i'll have this party package ready to be go we're just gonna open his happy birthday merch which is a photo card and the brooch as some started doing birthday merch well they've been doing it but they've never done a photo card i'm pretty sure so here it is now it's a little happy birthday card. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't put the photo card in here, but that's so cute. And then here's him holding the brooch. Aww. And then here is the actual brooch. It's actually so pretty. I don't want to take it out of the box, actually. Like, you can see it, so I'll leave it in here for now. Maybe I'll display it somewhere. I don't know, but pretty. Okay, and then the remaining merch is just for ISTJ era. So we have these photo card trading set, card pack, what? <laughs> you know what this is. I started only buying one pack from now on, like, because I still want to get a pack for, like, you know, video unboxing and, like, fun purposes. But obviously I'm mainly going to buy the cards because I could never trade and I never pull mark anyways. So yeah. <gasps> ooh, okay. We have, ooh, we have Chemin and Hechan. So pretty. Oh my god, I can't believe. Well, I, of course, I'm still working on ICJ. Like, ICJ is just a whole nother mess that I am choosing not to deal with right now. <gasps> Another Hachan and Unjin. Ooh. All right. I did get his ID and film strip set because I'm a sucker for both his ID and film strip. I literally have like every ID imaginable hung up on my pegboard right now, so this will be a great addition. As soon as I find a holder for it. And then, cute little film strip. And then we have the acrylic stamp set. Again, I, well, I guess I, for Mark, I'm gonna assemble it because I have to add it to my acrylic stand collection, but I'm just gonna leave it in the box for now, but it's him looking like this. And then we get another beret card. At this point, all these IT ICJ cards look identical. <laughs> all right, and then we have this mini collect book. This should come with a card. 
Yes. Oh, it's not even a selfie card. So, oh, <laughs> oh, well, still wanted to get it. But here is the collect book. And then this is the concept card. And then last, but certainly not least, this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect this to be this big, but they decided to make the hollow set like this, like with a poster instead of a postcard. <laughs> Yeah, A3 poster set, so... Oh, shit, this is, like, stuck. Okay, there we go. But yeah, now I have this giant Mark poster. He'll be praying for me. Maybe I could replace my AO poster with this. So he's constantly watching over me. <laughs> praying for me. And then here is the hollow card. Another hollow to add to my collection. Yay! I almost forgot about this actually, but this is the last NCT thing. This is also from ISTJ. I think there's... Are there two things in here? I think actually just one. Oh, no, there are two things in here. So, let's see. First is... Oh my god. Eye warning for this bright highlighter yellow tote bag let's get down i don't think i can ever bring this bag outside unless i want to like blind people <laughs> and also draw like everyone's attention so this will be an in-home use bag <laughs> for something but here is the photo card that it comes with Ta-da! look at how cute he looks in that suit then we have a shirt of course i have another nct shirt i'm literally wearing a fact check shirt right now but this one says ISTJ and it's like a light black, almost gr like a really dark gray. I like this ISTJ logo though. Ooh, it looks cool. I might want to wear this out actually. All right, but here it is. Ooh, looks so good. And then actually I totally forgot about this. So this is Le Seraphim merch, again from Flame Rises. So this is a zip-up jacket, which comes with a set of photo cards. I think there were different items that had photo cards as well, but the merch this time was actually super expensive. So if I were to buy like everything with photo cards, it would have been like, I don't know, like 300 or something, which is way too much. So I just bought the one thing and the photo card set, but... I bought the one thing that came with a selfie card set, so I didn't get any of like the unit card things or group cards, sadly. Maybe if I see the photo cards themselves for cheap, I might get them. But obviously, I prioritize like this more. But yeah, now we have another set of selfie cards. Yay! Okay, and then this is the zip up jacket. Oh my god, it's actually so heavy. Whoa, wait, this is actually like a really nice quality. Whoa. Flame Rises, like, printed on here like that. It's like a racer jacket. Whoa, hopefully this fits me or something, but look at how cool. Oh, can you even see it? I don't know, but you get the vibes. Yes! Y'all, we have finally reached the conclusion of this haul. With D-Icon making a comeback. With La Seraphim this time. This is La Seraphim's little D-Icon moment. And they did two versions per member. So I just bought Yunjin's. The photo cards were so cute. And as much as I would want to get like OT5, that would mean I would need to get 10 of these photo books. And that's not going to happen. So I just stuck to Yunjin's. So yeah, now we can finally open these. I'm glad that they make these like this small size now. Like if you guys remember the like 10th anniversary photo books those are huge like unnecessarily huge. i mean granted i still think these d icon things are unnecessary but whatever still want to get them for collection's sake and this isn't even the last of it you guys i bought the zb1 things too so that'll be my next haul but yeah anyways ooh, what's this it looks like we got a cute little like diary or something let's see oh oh it's like a little journal oh it is like a oh it's a planner whoa wait that's actually so cool actually useful it's like pictures wow okay you can use that <gasps> the photo card set oh my god i remember seeing these photo cards for the first time 
drop dead gorgeous like look at this so pretty with the flowers the set design is just so gorgeous this mirror selfie like yunjin is seriously like one of the best selfie takers ever like yeah you can quote me on that <laughs> with unchecked literally stunning like do you see why i would want it to get like collect ot5 for this but once again that would be ridiculous <laughs> so yeah anyways we get this clear sticker sheet and then oh is this a oh these are post oh <sighs> i am so sorry you guys you guys i am literally it's 2 a.m now it's been two hours of me filming I'm exhausted and I haven't had a sip of water because I left my water cup downstairs and I was too lazy to get it. So I am so sorry if you like genuinely really desperately want to see these posters, but I'm not going to unfold them. Like if it was one poster, fine, but six posters, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> there's other unboxings out there. This isn't an in-depth unboxing anyways. This is just me opening my things in a haul. So yeah, anyways, let's flip through this giant's photo book now. But yeah, the sets on this were so pretty. Like, do you see the background with lolly... I mean, not lollipops, what the fuck? Popsicles and teddy bears and stuff. And the set for this. So pretty. It's a thick photo book though. Wow. So yeah, it's like a magazine almost, which is cool. And now we have the B version. Ooh, this one comes with this huge memo pad. Whoa. Wait, that's so cool. Comes with a little like message memo pad. Wait, that's so cute. You can use this for like trades or something, right? Like a tiny little message or a reminder. That is so cute. And then, oh god, did this... Okay, this survived. This scared me. Like, whenever there's something metallic like that and photo cards, it's a dangerous combo. But anyways, now we have Yunjin's other photo card set. Did I show the back for the other ones? I don't think I did, sorry. <gasps> With a little doll. <gasps> oh, it's an elephant. And then with the windmill. And then... Chowan and Unchet. These are so pretty. All right, and then it also comes with this. I think it's like a phone thing. So it's a cute little like acrylic key ring. Ooh, I kind of want to use this for like my binder actually. This is a cute key ring. And then, wait. Oh, you could take this out? Hold on. Oh, you can. So I guess it's like, again, you're supposed to put this like through, their, through your charger hole. It's like a little phone accessory, but you can take this out. So I guess I'm going to count this as another photo card. <laughs> yes! Alright, and then once again, sorry, I'm not going to look through these posters. <laughs> you know, there's probably pictures on the internet. You know, that's what the internet's for. Alright, and then... Is this the same photo book? I'm pretty... Because there's both concepts in here. Wow. Okay, nice. It's just a different cover. <laughs> I feel like we could have, like, just done this as the B version, and then this as the A photo book. Like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that finally brings us to the conclusion, the epic conclusion of this chaotic haul. Number eight. Special number eight. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> this photo card spread, did not expect this, nor did I expect this video to be this long. You know what's so funny? Okay, so this package was combined with my albums for my album haul that I already did. When I took out all those packages, I was like, okay, this video is gonna be like not that long. It doesn't seem like a lot, but um, spoke too soon as well. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that was another crazy little haul from my k -Addy. This honestly is probably gonna be the last k -Addy haul of this year because I don't think I can squeeze another one before the year ends. So wow, ending it on the number eight. Can't wait for the next one to be in 2024, which is crazy. So yes, anyways, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.